Hi everyone, this is Elise with Elise's Acrylic Pouring. So, I got... Okay, so I did a video and I didn't post it because I had my daughter and her stepsister here and it was just kind of like chaotic. And one thing I learned about wood, even though I use polycrylic to seal it, I think you need to actually put a layer of like kills down or uh, maybe even the, the house paint. I don't know. Let me show it to you. Okay. <laughs> so it has little, if you can, you can see it right there. See the wood? See that right there? Second lesson. <laughs> I didn't put little sticks on my cake spinner. So what I was doing is I was pushing underneath like that to try and get it to spin because it was so big. Well, the cells went wobbly from that because it was going like this, bouncing. So, really mad about that because it was super pretty and then everything just went really wonky. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to do that intro. Um, I don't do much face intro, so I apologize. I just get so excited doing the, the painting and it takes so long for me to get paint mixed up and everything ready to go. Um, that half the time by the, um, when I'm ready to paint, I just want to hurry and do it because I'm scared my son's going to wake up from his nap. So I just thought since I got a little extra time, I would do a face intro and yeah, so let's get started. Maybe if my clicker wants to work. <laughs> Elise with Elise's acrylic pouring. Whoops. <laughs> So I wanted to hurry and do a pour. I got a new blow dryer. It's Y-I-I-H-O. Yee-hoo? Who knows? <laughs> but it has got a really, it comes with this little attachment. And then, I'm going to set my paint in here. And then it comes off. So it blows a really steady stream of Oh my gosh, I already got paint on it and I didn't want to. <laughs> there we go, got it off. It was a really steady stream of air. So, we are going to try it out and see how it does with the bloom. I'm so excited. And I, the last time I did a wood round, it warped on me. So, I coated these with two coats of the polycrylic. This seems pretty thick. We'll see how it does. Okay. So this is a really exciting color. It is Conacridome Red. I love it. Uh -huh. I have a lot of air bubbles. I just, oh my gosh, I just flipped something in there. Oh. I think that looks so pretty next to the black. Okay, and then, where did my napkin go? Okay, I'm going to do this new, it's the Art Alchemy, it's yellow-pink, we just mixed it, so let's try that yellow. Yellow makes me nervous, but let's try it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going for like a crazy, this is just going to be crazy bloom. There's going to be like every color you can think of pretty much. And I can't remember what this one is. Hold on. It is teal pink okay and then this is the violet gold okay and this is flamingo pink interference blue Let's see. 
And then we're gonna do the blue russet by Pearl X Pigment Powders. Just a little bit more of this top. That's that Carnacridone Violet. Okay, then I'm gonna do a copper and then black cell activator. And this is copper by Amsterdam and then oxide black by Amsterdam as well. Oops, I'm already losing it. Shoot. And my, I didn't say I'm sorry, my house paint I laid down is um, Walmart's um, black. super thick next time I think I might um, thin it out just a little bit right there on top of the moon we could sit and do nothing I wish we were both to just fly away I don't want to care it's being I'm good alone I'll be okay, miss you like an old friend Too scared now, thinking I should call up I'm not I think it's hard how we always wait excited that looks awesome okay i'm gonna get you guys down for a close-up okay so here's the close-up um i shouldn't point things out but uh, right there <laughs> i'm still getting used to the new blow dryer so i don't like how right there doesn't have any sales but i mean i guess it adds character my mom loves it she i was beginning to scrape it but my mom's like don't you dare <laughs> um you know because 
I get in this perfection mode where I think it needs to be all the exact same consistency of cells. But my mom was like, if you scrape that, I'm going to be so mad. <laughs> but it is beautiful, though. You guys, it is really pretty. And you'll see at the end um, a dried close-up of it. And you'll also see a list of all my paints. I'll go through them with you, but I have um, wrote everything down so you guys can take a screenshot of them. Um, but yeah, those are alchemy paints. You guys, they're amazing. Please try them. And then leave me a comment. Let me know how you guys like them. Send me a picture too. I would love to see your guys' creation. Um, but yeah, these are just so gorgeous. But um, yeah, you'll see in just a moment my um, lineup. So first I used Copper by Amsterdam. And that's mixed with four parts Australian Floetrol. Then on top of that, I used Oxide Black by Amsterdam as well. Also mixed with four parts Australian Floetrol. And then my pouring medium is two parts HGTV enamel, the ultra deep base. One part triple thick polyurethane and one part Minwax polycrylic. Okay, so here's the close-up, and oh, isn't that just so pretty? The interference colors in there is just amazing. I still need to resin it. Um, I like to wait at least two weeks just to make sure that paint is 100% dry because if not, you can get bubbles and some cracking in your resin, and yeah, so just make sure it's completely dried. And um, yeah, I just, resin is just the way to go. I do use KS resin. It is my favorite resin to use for art um, projects. And then here's the lineup. There's the Cranacodone Violet by Golden, Yellow Pink, Teal Pink, and then Violet Gold. And those are all the art alchemy paints. And then that's the Flamingo Pink by Pearl X Pigment Powders. Interference Blue by Golden Fluid Acrylics, and then Blue Russet by Pearl X Pigment Powders. And then I put just a little bit more of the Cranacodone Violet on top. So then here's the lineup, so you guys can take a screenshot of them. So yeah, I would love it if you guys followed me on my social medias. Um, it's at Elise's Acrylic Pouring. And then here's a fun video of my cat Spartacus being silly. Yeah. Thanks, you guys. Bye. Hee <laughs> hee